vote would be somebody would have to make a motion to um, go. Okay, so make a motion to pass uh, re resolution. Hold on, let me find the exact one. Um, it's number six. Um, yes, so if decision is made to ballot measure for concerning the voters taxing, yes. So somebody has to make a motion to pass resolutions A, B, and C under number six um, with the modification that it's changed to be uh, 18, up to 18%. So that, that would be the uh, up to 18%. Whatever. It should start at 18. Minimum is 18%. So how about we say maximum of 20%? My concern, Ms. Uh, uh, Madam City Mr. Attorney. Mr. Farfstein was just saying you don't want it to be something that gets challenged because it's uh, not uh, uh, clear or th that's why uh, pick a number and say up to that number, but saying from, okay, that's what I, that's what I thought you, you said. That's what I said with that modification, okay. right? Yeah, okay. That's what I said with that modification. Yeah. All right. So it's, um, Mayor Protem, are you going to move that? And I'll second that? Yeah. So I second that. Uh, if there's no further discussion. One more question. I, I, oh, we're I still going to have the discussion. Okay. On okay. Or, or I don't know if, if it's on this or on Council Member Hicks's. It's on this. Oh, okay. It's sorry. on this. It says, uh, uh, it's uh, the way it's reading to a, a measure to approve tax and cannabis related businesses and activities. I need something um, more definitive. That's I, he I hear you, Madam. Pro it's not clear. Let me pull up the measure and look at it. So then we can have. So what will be sent to the voters would say, uh, shall an ordinance establishing a cannabis tax, is that what you haven't, the cannabis tax do yeah, is not clear? What would you like it to say? You know, I don't know because it's reading as though we are approving it, and that's not what I'm doing. I'm just approving future. So I, we can add if, my, uh, my if Ayuma passes uh, and uh, a city council, um, future f city council approves uh, legalizing or uh, approves, then shall an ordinance establishing cannabis tax of up to and right. good. Okay. Should have future because right sure, now we can change that language. But ended as though we're approving this, approving it tonight, and that's not what we're doing. Okay, I understand what you're getting at. That language future can be added. Future council should. If a future council should legalize uh, cannabis businesses, related businesses in the city of Carson, shall an uh, ordinance establishing. So. I get what you're trying to do. Let me play around with the language. Uh, maybe if you vote on it while Chris is doing the second part, I can look at the language and read it to you. Um, so um, I was just reminded that because Councilmember Santorina stepped off, we have to do a voice vote. So um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion passes unanimously, Madam City Clerk. So now we will have a discussion. Yes. Now, uh, Chris, you want to continue with your presentation, and I think Councilmember Hicks may have questions to queue you up, or maybe during your presentation. You can proceed. Thank you. So, uh, tax ordinance details, that's in the past. Uh, we just did that. Um, regulatory ordinance, this is the last part that I wanted to talk about. The regulatory ordinance that has been prepared is set up uh, with a number of different um, regulations that will be in the I'm ordinance. Sorry, Chris. Th this is the state initiative that's going to the voters, not the Carson one. Yeah, I, I want to clarify what you're talking about. No, so Councilman Hicks, can you? Uh, so we had the rest of the presentation focused on if y the city was going to pass or consider a regulatory. Uh, um, ordinance to go to the voters, what it would look like. But I don't think anyone on this council is prepared to do that, so oh, we no. don't need to okay. go over that. Oh, but no. Councilman oh, Hicks, do you want to repeat your question? My, my question was based upon sales 
because in the actual Proposition 64, it's talked about sales online and deliveries. And I know we talked about it on this day as about deliveries and how think how they're being delivered through um, Uber and uh, not Uber Amazon. through Amazon and through um, you can't stop that under the law you can. Okay. Ayuma will uh, legalize it, and that's why uh, in our presentation we were going to talk about the grants because that's what the grants are supposed to deal with. So you can't stop it. They can drive through it. They can sell it. They can de de deliver it to your city. Um, it was Craigslist. Yeah, that that's going to be authorized through Ayuma. It was on Craigslist. And and so that's what Mr. Rambo was talking about when he was saying it's you're going to incur the extra law enforcement. Uh, uh, Anyways, now you have to just tap into your general fund because you're not uh, dealing with it. So Ayuma will authorize all of that. They can sell on Amazon. It could come to you. The city, it'll be here. And you can't get any grant money from the state to deal with it. And the way we had um, presented an ordinance that you could set to the voters was to limit uh, the permits that anybody could get. For example, they could get just one cultivation permit, one dispensary, one of anything, but then because you were regulating it, even though you're restricting it, you're completely restricting it, you would still be able to get the grants. That was the purpose of the restricting and regulating ordinance. Um, so, but to answer your question, yes, they can sell on Amazon, they can tra transport, they can, it can be delivered to your city and you cannot do anything about it. Okay, thank you. So I, I, I'm sorry, Chris. I thought your presentation was on the actual statewide ordinance, but you're focused more on the local ordinance, which we're not doing. Well, I think that concludes my presentation, Mr. Mayor. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, we still have another agenda.